Hi, and welcome to Our Time with Flory. I am so happy that you're here joining me for art class in May. Now, today's art project is called the Dragonfly. Today you're going to be learning how to create a stencil in order to make this beautiful, colorful dragonfly. Now, if at any time it becomes a little difficult and you need help, go ahead Put pause and ask a grown up to come and help you. Now, the list of materials will be in our description box along with the links to notify you where you can get your materials. All right, kids, let's get started and go over the list of materials. All right, kids, let's go over the list of materials that you'll be needing in order to complete your art project today. So, you're going to need your mixed media art paper. You're also going to need a regular copy paper, or if you want a cardstock, that's fine to create your stencil. You're going to need your sketch pencil. If you don't have a sketch pencil, a regular pencil works out just fine. You're also going to need your paint palette, and the colors that you're going to be needing are the following. Green, turquoise, neon pink, neon orange, aquamarine, and or yellow green. You'll also be needing a squared sponge, just one, and some scissors. All right, kids, let's get started with our art project. All right, kids, I already have a drawn out dragonfly. Now I'm gonna use a Sharpie. You don't need to do this. You can use your regular drawing pencil. I'm using a Sharpie to outline to kind of guide you on how to draw your dragonfly. So we're gonna start with the head, okay? So go ahead, grab your paper and your regular paper and your sketch pencil and follow the Sharpie. So we're gonna start with the head. I'm gonna figure out where I want my head to start and I would start at the top of the middle of your paper. I'm going to make three, I guess you could say like little lumps, okay? So go ahead and draw your first wing. You're going to slightly go downward about, hmm, I'd say half a length of a pencil. So let me just show you what I mean by that. You can measure it. Kind of put a little mark right there and then go upwards a little just about the same length and then draw downwards just a tiny bit probably as much as the the point or the head of your pencil and then you're gonna do the same thing you kind of want to end almost a little downward right there and There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is create the next um, wing. So for this, it's probably um, a little over a half of your pencil. You're going to draw a nice straight line downwards. Then you're going to draw a, di a small diagonal line, not straight, Diagonal. Then you're going to go diagonally up like a triangle, like a wide triangle. So it looks like you're making, let's just say, the roof of a house. <laughs> there you go. And now you're going to draw the part, the body of the dragonfly, and then slope over and around, kind of like you're making a small little spoon. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're going to start on the left side of the, of the head and then just go downward at least halfway and either slope up or downward. Up to you. Then you're going to make a tiny little diagonal downward and then you're going to draw a straight line and do the same thing that you did to the other side. So now we're going to go ahead and draw a nice straight line going downwards, a diagonal line, small one, 
And if you need to measure, go ahead, stop and measure. And then go slowly. There we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out our dragonfly. So grab your scissors and let's get ready to cut. All right, kids, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stencil that I created and place it over my art paper. As you can see, I have painter's tape around my borders. That's an option if you'd like. You don't need to do that. I like to keep my, my um, art piece in place. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna grab some tape, painter's tape, and tape this bottom part because I really want it to stay I want it to stay down um, I have a little bit of white tape that I'm going to go ahead and add because I want this to stay down actually There we go. You just need a little. What you can do is you can get a little bit of painter's tape, roll it up. And I use painter's tape because I, um, oops, I don't want my paper to be moving around because we're, what we're going to do is paint over it. Here we go. Now, I know I've said this before, but if you want to make this a stencil so you can reuse over again, you can actually laminate over it and cut the middle part out after you laminate it, and then you can use it a few more times. All right, I'm almost ready and set go. Now my dragonfly is going to stay in place. Now what I want to do is create little round because I want it to stick down. So that's why it's good to have painter's tape handy so you can Make sure that parts of your art piece stay down and it doesn't seep through. So this is a really cool, fun technique. It takes a little time, but it's worth it. It's very much worth it. So as you can see, I'm rolling it. I really want this part to stick down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a really tiny one, and it could take time. If at any time you're having a hard time, kiddos, ask your parents if they could do this part for you if it's too challenging, okay? Always ask for help. You can always put pause and ask a grown-up to come and help you. So as you can see, I'm using a little bit of tape because I really want to go take this little white one out, put it to the side, and just go ahead and press down. giving me a little trouble, but that's okay. Um, so I need this part to also stay down. So it's gonna need a little 
extra painter's tape. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there so it stays nice and flat. See how that helped? And you just kind of roll it up. There we go. Perfect. Do the same thing here. There we go. See how nice and flat it is? So I need to do the same thing to here. And I think what I need is There we go. Perfect. There. All right. Give me a little hard time, but that's okay. Ah, oh, no. Okay. So this is I gotta pull this down a little bit. And this is why it's good to have painter's tape because that way it can easily come off. Then anything, because if you use regular tape, it'll be hard to pull off. And I'm gonna add one more piece, I'm rolling a piece as we speak. See what I'm gonna do after I do use this as I need it. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna be ready to start our paint. All right. So now that I have my dragonfly, I'm gonna go ahead get my paints ready and the colors that we're using. Just a little reminder: green, turquoise, neon pink, neon orange, aquamarine, and green and yellow. So you're gonna grab your sponge and you're just going to fill in the color and we're just gonna dab, all right? So I'm gonna start with some neon pink. And there really isn't a place that I'm picking where I want it, I'm just putting it wherever I want. So go ahead, dab whatever colors you want. It's summer, so I want to make it colorful. So I'm gonna make sure that this part right here stays down. Try to paint on top of it, not under. Try not to lift, so just tap on top. Go ahead, pick whatever colors you want. See how I'm doing that? Using those beautiful, and if a little gets out, that's okay. It's still gonna look amazing. But this is a great way for you to learn to create stencils. So if you notice, I'm pressing down on, on my paper just to Make sure that it's not too up. So now I'm let's see, I need to add some green and yellow here. I'm gonna do some orange. Let's add some little turquoise to this body. Look at that. So remember this part, how I said I was gonna go ahead and take it off? Because now I'm happy with the way everything is coming out. So once we're done with that, I think I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. We're gonna go ahead and lift off, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly pull up. Oh, it broke. That's okay, though. I can make another one. Let's see how I'm doing that. Voila! You 
can put your stencil aside, take off any painter's tape that's around it. Ah, did not want to leave. Perfect. So now we have our cool dragonfly. Now what I want to do is I want to have a little fun with my sponge. So I kind of want to, you know, kind of put some color all the way around. I'm actually going to have some green and I'm going to create some like really cool streaks, like grass coming up with a little turquoise and green. See that? We can add some yellow green to it to give it different coloring, texture. Pretty neat, right? Cool. Little turtle blue. It's almost like the grass is fanning it out. Really super easy, quick, you know, and your mom, this could be a great Mother's Day present for your, for your mom who does so much for you. See how I did that? Little flowers, adding little flowers to the grass. Makes it really beautiful, right? Isn't this gorgeous? I think it's pretty fabulous. You know, if you want to add colors all the way around, you can. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. And we have our amazing dragonfly. Nothing to it. Voila, so we can go ahead and finish our Mother's Day projects. Pretty easy, really easy to make. Put it on the side. Actually, we'll start here. Amazing. Beautiful. And voila! You have a beautiful dragonfly. All right, kids. Now that you've completed your art project, if you had a lot of fun and you learned a thing or two, go ahead and click below and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Our Time with Flory, and receive notifications for our upcoming tutorial. All right, kids, I will see you next time.